you're a sci-fi and fantasy fan, you would have heard of Gauss Rifles. Should you be unaware, you'll be excited to know that they have been saved from the fiction world and made into reality. While the Pentagon made known their plans to pass up their railgun program so that the hypersonic weapon research could use the resources, steps by private companies to create electromagnetic weapons weren't halted. It was the world's one and only handheld Gauss rifle. In fact, it is the most powerful handheld coil gun ever put on the market for the masses. Welcome back to the US Marines channel. And without further ado, let's get into the intricacies of this portable electromagnetic weapon. The Gauss Anvil GR1 Rifle by Arc Flash Labs LLC is a bullpup eight-stage coil gun developed in Los Angeles, California. Gauss came from the name Carl Frederick Gauss, a German man who mathematically mapped out the magnetic effect employed by magnetic accelerator cannons. The GR1 Anvil is a shoulder-fired, albeit portable, Gauss rifle that's a dream come true for most. With the powerful magnets it embodies, the GR1 Anvil Gauss rifle has a high possibility of being able to shoot metal projectiles of wide ranges. A Gauss rifle can also be called a coil gun and it is regarded as a mass driver with at least a coil that serves as an electromagnetic while configuring a linear motor, fires up to high velocity, a conducting and ferromagnetic projectile. This linear accelerator basically operates with a number of coils that have been powered to yield electromagnetic fields and drag a ferromagnetic projectile along the barrel. The more coils, the faster the projectile accelerates and they are checked by optical gates. Once a projectile advances past a coil, these optical gates shut the coil down. Most coil guns are configured with the gun barrel and coils are aligned on the same axis. Before going forward, it is pertinent to note that the barrel of a coil gun is not rifled, but a smooth bore as it has no helical or spiral groove patterns seen in the interior walls of a rifle's barrel. Now let's proceed. The Gauss Anvil GR1 adopts eight coils and eight electrolytic capacitors of great voltage, from which it gets a maximum of 16,000 amps and a minimum of 4,000 amps. With these coils, a steel dowel towel with a diameter of about half an inch can be fired up to 75 meters per second. Interestingly, with its advanced capacitor charging system, its group of electrolytic capacitors can be fully charged in just three seconds by the standard six cell 25 volts lithium ion battery or LiPoly. This is due to the clamped quasi-resonant or CQR step up inverter the GR1 adopts. And these charged capacitors power the electromagnetic coils and let the gun fire maximally. The Gauss Anvil GR1 is about nine kilograms in weight, that is 20 pounds, and measures 97 centimeters in length. Its barrel is about 66 centimeters, and it measures 7.8 centimeters and 20 centimeters in width and height, respectively. It chambers a 10 to 12 millimeter by variable, and its rate of fire is up to 100 rounds per minute. The Arc Flash's rifle is fed by a 10 round magazine, and it boasts up to 75 meters a second as muzzle velocity. Three years before the GR1, the company designed the EMG-01, an eight-stage automatic weapon that was the first handheld coil gun sold commercially as a completely assembled system. It could only fire 480 rounds per minute and hit a muzzle velocity of 45 meters per second. It also uses a six cell 25 volts lithium ion battery, but it can generate up to 2000 watts, with which it charges 10 electrolytic capacitors. However, it doesn't use a capacitor charging system or an inverter, and it only functions at low voltage. More so, it costs about $2,000 less than the GR1. The weapon has a little LCD panel that shows how charged its battery is alongside its post-shot diagnostics, coil temp, and capacitor charge. It also includes a sliding rear stock, an aiming laser, green in color, and an inbuilt flashlight. The components in the posterior end of the GR1 can be elongated or shortened to suit one's preference just by pulling a lock ring situated on the upper end of the weapon. The Gauss Anvil GR1 can be fired at different energy levels. It doesn't make much noise when fired with just a quiet murmur while charging and a gentle clink while discharging a cartridge. While in use, one should bear in mind that it's an actual weapon 
it truly doesn't compare with other weapons when the numbers are put side by side. But it is also capable of causing serious harm. That being said, it should be handled with the seriousness of a lethal firearm. The EMG-02 is another fully automatic coil gun by Arc Flash Labs. This 10-stage weapon can fire 6 to 8 millimeter diameter steel dowel pins, smaller than the GR-1, and at 8 rounds per second in auto. However, it boasts a muzzle velocity similar to that of the GR-1, 75 meters per second. The EMG-02 is basically a combination of the best EMG-01 and GR-1 features to produce a new weapon that is easy to handle and can offer a much better balance. This was achieved by placing a battery below the grip and one big capacitor at the posterior end. It also has a 15 round magazine, single stacked, but an MG-15XL magazine or an EMG 01B magazine can also be used. It employs a 15S lithium ion battery pack with which one won't have a need to charge without exhausting over 300 shots. With the GR1's 6S LiPo, only about 40 shots can be gotten per charge. However, it only takes three seconds to recharge. Speaking of legal bindings, coil guns are not regarded as firearms under United States law. Legally, weapons like the GR-1 do not use combustion to propel a projectile, and as a result, are not regulated by laws surrounding firearms. To exert as much legal caution as possible, Arc Flash Labs call weapons like their GR-1 air guns. This, however, leads to situations where shipping of the Gauss Anvil GR-1 rifle doesn't occur, following local or state rules, on the muzzle energy of air guns. And several places are actually affected by this. Basically, one could regard the GR-1 as the alpha version of its design. That is, an avenue to test, run, collect data, gain expertise, and take the design to its highest potential. As time passes, capacitor technology will evolve and we shall witness significant improvements in coil guns. Be in handguns, air guns, or even actual rifles. What do you think about the GR1? Is its technology truly a pace setter? Share your opinion in the comments section below. If you loved this content, click on the next video for another exciting piece.